going on everybody welcome to the channel and today we are checking out the Runcam DVR-01 it is a mini FPV DVR for your mini FPV racer that has the 20 by 20 millimeter stackable configuration it records raw video directly from the camera so there is no static like the recording from the goggles DVR or frame drops or skipped frames that the goggles DVR has once in a while all right, so I've already got it attached to a quadcopter. So it was really easy to attach to the quadcopter. All you do is just unloosen these four screws in which I'm missing one. It really doesn't matter if you have two screws attached to it or not. The flight controller is held down by other standoff screws. So no need to worry about vibration issues or anything like that on this DVR. Now, simple, simple to attach to a quadcopter, guys. So those four screws, unloosen it and put the 20 by 20 stack DVR right on its place and put some screws on here. The only thing that you have to do is solder these three points right here to this wiring harness to attach to the FPV camera. And also these three points right here. So putting this wiring harness where this connector normally is connected directly to the camera itself. So you are bypassing it, going through the DVR and then reconnecting it to the flight controller. All right, so very, very simple procedure, very easy. But the only thing is, is that you need some room to place this another level of stack onto your quadcopter. And this quadcopter provides a ton of room. It is the Fury B X140 with tons of room on the top. So I had no issues whatsoever. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wiring diagram for this DVR. All right, here we are at the wiring diagram, and this is one of the best diagrams that I found on the internet. As you can see, it is color coded. The five volt is in red, the ground is in black, and the video is in yellow. So everything is color coded. So when you purchase this DVR, you will receive this little harness as well as this little harness as well. So all you need to do is just solder on these three joints right here solder on these three joints right here and you are good to go. You can connect this side to the FPV camera and this side to your existing connector that you used to once connect to your FPV camera. So that is how easy it is to connect this DVR to your flight controller and to your FPV camera. All right, so here is the box once again. So let's open it up and see how the DVR was packaged. Here is the little paper that's on the top here. And here's a little foam cut out where the DVR was nestled in here. So very nice packaging. And here is a little box you can remove. And there's a bunch of stuff underneath. And here's the bottom paper. And here is an instruction little pamphlet. And here is a additional little wiring harness but this is the wiring harness that it came with but i did not use it because it wouldn't fit onto this fpv camera now this is made for the run cam fpv camera so if you have a run cam fpv camera it will fit on it but it did not want to fit onto this fpv camera so i used my own little wiring harness as long as you got the wires connected correctly so you are good to go it also came with this little wiring harness as well so you you got two wiring harness that you can attach to the dvr and that one there was already attached to the flight controller that came with the quadcopter all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the little instruction booklet we have a little bit of specs on one side and that is the front page and on the inside it tells you how to go about doing the recording and here's another diagram but the diagram that is online is far better and we i use that one to connect all my wiring so but then again you are able to use this diagram as well so the quality of the video is the same as that of the goggles dvr minus the static so it is not hd quality and it also records in the 4x3 aspect ratio. So if you want to fill up the screen to a 16x9 aspect ratio, then you'll have to use some editing software to stretch it out or crop it down. But that will lower the quality of the video even further. All right, so let's go ahead and install a micro SD card. And it will accommodate up to a 32 
and gigabyte micro SD card. So let's go ahead and slide this in. Just place it right in here and just push it right in. It is spring loaded. Now you will know that it is incorrectly by lifting up that little ejection plate and it is not springing back out because it is spring loaded. So push it in and if it stays, it is in. So release the ejection plate and that is how you know that the micro SD card is inserted correctly. So let's go ahead and power this up. So once I power it up, in a few seconds, it will start to record automatically. You don't have to press any buttons. So let's go ahead and power it up. And once you power it up, you see that there is a blue light and a red light. The red light indicates power and the blue light indicates status. So now it is starting to blink and that means it is starting to record. Okay. So once you have done your flight and you bring it in and you want to stop the recording and save it, you have to press this little button right here. All right, so once you press this little button, okay, let me press it again. There you go. That blue light becoming solid, that means that it has stopped recording and the video was saved to the, your micro SD card. So if you want to commence recording once again, just press that button one more time and the blue light will start blinking again, letting you know that you are recording again. And then go ahead and press it again that will stop the recording and save it to your micro SD card. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the video clips of a flight. Uh, now I have done three different recordings of the same flight. One, I have recorded the flight with this Runcam DVR, and also I have recorded the same flight on my Heplay SE goggles DVR, as well as the Firefly action camera. So we can go ahead and take a look at all three video clips and compare the three. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so here we go. We are gonna start off with the recorded footage from the Headplay SE goggles DVR first. Now, first thing I wanna say is that there is a lot of noise, almost like it's coming from the VTX, but it is actually coming from adding the DVR to this quadcopter. And before adding this DVR, this quadcopter did not have any noise at all except for the VTX signal noise. And also I'm flying with a 4S battery and when I use a 3S battery, the video noise gets even worse. So I'm not sure if this quadcopter needs better filters or maybe perhaps a capacitor might help out with the noise on this quadcopter with this DVR. So here is the video from the Runcam DVR Mini now, and it is a lot clearer, but it still has that video noise, but it is far better than that of the goggles recorded video. And unlike the goggles recorded video, the DVR video is recorded in the four by three aspect ratio, and it cannot be changed, which is too bad. It would be nice if you could set it to record in the 16 by nine format. So maybe that is something they could add in the future for this mini DVR. So the goggles video is just a stretched out version of this four by three video to fill up the screen to a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And I do have the head plate goggles set to record in the 16 by nine format, but the head plate goggles can also be set to record four by three format as well. But since I can't reduce the already recorded 16 by nine video to a four by three video, I'll stretch out the DVR mini videos four by three into the 16 by nine aspect ratio to fill up the screen to make it look similar to the goggles video next. But let's go back and forth between these two footage a few times first. Okay, so here is a look at the run cam DVR video, not stretched out, but cropped out to fit the screen 16 by nine. So unlike the goggles video where it is stretched sideways to fill up the screen, I've actually stretched this video entirely to fill up the sides, but in the process lost some of the top and some of the bottom of the video. But it doesn't look that bad actually. I think it is still very usable since it will not have any VTX static noise and it will also be free from any frame drops or frame freezes that sometimes occur with the DVR on the goggles. So. 
Let's go back and forth between these two video clips as well. Okay, so I'm bringing it in for the landing here. So next up, we are going to compare then this stretched run cam DVR footage with the Firefly Micros video footage, which is recorded in the 720p mode. Okay, here we go once again. And this time we are starting off with the run cam DVR minis recorded video, but stretched out and cropped. First, I'll be switching it back and forth to the recorded video from the Firefly Micro from here on out. So for me, if I am reviewing a quadcopter that comes with a 5.8 gigahertz FPV camera, I'm still going to be using the recorded video from the FPV goggles to show what the quality of the camera system of that quadcopter looks like and how it performs rather than stick one of these mini DVR and show how it looks like before it runs through the VTX system. But for a brushless racer that does not have enough space for an action camera or for some FPV racers that just don't want to record good video footage with an action camera, no matter how good you tune the quad, but records good video on the FPV goggles, this mini DVR could very well come in handy since it records smooth 30 frames per second video directly from the FPV camera. So of course there is a big difference between these recordings here and the Firefly video isn't all that great either since it is a bit choppy at times but it is a lot more clear since it is 720p and of course there isn't any unwanted noise whatsoever since it is a standalone camera. So you don't really have to put this mini DVR on a stack configuration at all but you can just have it secured so it will not fly off. So you can actually move this DVR from quad to quad with minimum amount of work. Now I've been using the recorded video from my Headplay FPV goggles for a lot of my FPV escape videos with static. So maybe you know I'll use the Runcam Mini DVR recorded video instead for some of the F applications. All right, so I'm just gonna leave these couple of video clips to play back and forth. So as always, I'll leave a link to purchase the product in the video description down below. So if you are interested in it, check it out for yourself. As for me, I kind of like the setup since it doesn't cost much like the split cameras, but it could be improved a bit like record in 16 by nine aspect ratio. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.